So you, you've got layout going on there. Um, and then you have your different options. What I tend to like to do is I'll put in text over here and then maybe put a picture here or a video. This way it's not so busy. You have everything kind of organized. Switch it up. Maybe on the next page you want to have three columns, maybe a picture in the center and then writing on either side. It's up to you to decide. But I would go with one of those three options. The other thing we want you to do with this is we would like you to incorporate outside websites to connect to. How many people are familiar with hyperlinking? Hyper, you've all seen hyperlinking. It's where you click on a word and it'll take you to another website. So with this, if you want to connect, it's almost like doing a research paper. And instead of doing the citation, you can connect your text to wherever you got your information from. So for example, I happen to have, I did a Google search and I found a an article in the Christian Science Monitor. You want to connect to websites that you've evaluated are these well-known websites? Are these credible websites? Looking at authorship, looking at organization, you want to make sure that these are credible places you're linking to. Because when Mrs. Soto goes to click on the link, she's going to take her to a website. She might say, oh, this is a great place to get information from, the New York Times or the Christian Science Monitor or National Geographic or Scientific American, some kind of well-known source that you've evaluated. Um, if it's Johnny Smith who makes a website in his mom's basement, uh, that might be a little bit difficult in terms of credibility because you have to watch out for things like bias and, 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 and that stuff, which you should always be aware of. Um, once you're done finding your website, you click on the URL address because I want my readers to go to this website. So I can click on that URL address, and then I want the word India to be highlighted here. I want that to be the link. I click on the, the chain at the top, and then web address, web address, and then paste in that URL address. So I'll know the text will be India. When you click on India, it will go to this URL address. The other thing you want to do is click on open this link in a new window. This way, your viewers don't get thrown off of your website. They can get right back to it easily. And you click OK. So now you can see it's kind of highlighted there. So when you hover over it, and I got to save it, and I click Save, you can, you can see it. All right, and there it's, it's going to take me to my new website. It takes forever. Okay, and there it is. It's taking a little bit of time to upload. All right. Uh, the next thing we want to consider are things like pictures. Now, remember I said it's probably better for you to take your own pictures, use your own pictures. Uh, if you have a little sister who draws pictures, have you know her do that. Um, and then you could obviously put them, load them into the into the website. So if I want to do pictures, I'm going to have to insert things. You don't just drag things in. So you'd have to again click on the pencil because I'm adding something different to this page. I can go to insert and then I can look for images. Okay. Now I want to put an image of space here. And I'm going to look for my images. Here it is, space image, and I want to put that in there. Now, when I told you guys about copyright, there are ways that you can find copyright-free images uh, in Google. And if you look on the board over there, I like everybody, yeah, everybody to find a picture that's copyright-free that you'll be able to put up onto your site. Now, look what happened here. I, I made a huge mistake. First of all, I don't want it to be this large, this picture. So I'm going to click on medium. And I really want the picture on that side. So I'm going to X that out. Make sure my cursor is in that box. Insert image. That's the one I want. OK. But if you guys go, and I'm going to make this image smaller. 
perhaps maybe medium. Okay. To find a copyright free image, we can go and open up a Google tab. And if I want to find something like ice, ice cold, want to, because that's, when I think of space, I think of cold. Cho choose one that's relevant to your topic. Then click on images, search tools, and I have everything on the, and written in red on the board over there, search tools, and then usage rights. Now, you might think, who cares about this? But you have to remember, you're putting this on the web for the rest of the world to see. So if somebody owns a particular picture, they might be very upset that you have that up there. Or if it's a picture of them and, and they're not giving you rights to do that, you could also be looking at, at other kinds of um, punishment other than them just shutting down your website. So you have to be very careful what you're putting up on the web. As digital citizens, you have to be aware of the fact that um, – this is not something you're doing hidden. This is something that the whole world is going to see and that you need to follow the proper decorum, just like you would in somebody's company. You would not make fun of somebody in their company, hopefully, and you definitely should not do that online. There's no way to hide anymore where, where people think that they can do it. And we've all, we've all heard of these kinds of stories. Uh, label for reuse. If I click on that, that means all of these pictures can be reused and I can put them on my website. So I'm going to copy this or download this picture right here, and I'm going to save that for a, a later time. The other thing you can do is look for a video. So if I want to put a video in my or on my page, let's say I want to put video on my summary page. Again, I'm going to click on the pencil. And with video, you can make your own videos or you can find videos in, in YouTube. They have to be YouTube videos. So if you make your own video, you have to upload it into YouTube. From there, you can then connect it to your website. Um, so if I want to put in a YouTube video, again, I'm going to go with insert and then YouTube. And I have a YouTube video over here from ABC News. Now, do I have to worry about copyright here? No. Because ABC News, if you notice, is the one who uploaded this onto YouTube. So they own this, and they're sharing this on YouTube, so it's free for you to use as well. And you're gonna, it'll advertise YouTube as well. It's going to link right to this YouTube. Um, so this is a uh, story I found about uh, theft. I know it has nothing to do with space, but I was just pressed for time, so I was just looking for some kind of website. Regardless, get the URL address, copy it. You can't just simply drag it in, and it can't be anything other than a YouTube video because, again, it's a Google product. They expect you to use YouTube. And then click Save. It won't show up until you have saved your website. Now, here's a great way you can maybe write about the video, You know what people are going to see there. How does it illustrate the circle? How does it uh, show what's going on in this particular area of, of Dante's Inferno. Okay, so uh, we showed you hyperlinking, pictures, and videos. So those are the, the various things you're gonna do. I used to put music in this, but uh, YouTube has actually stopped, or I'm sorry, uh, Google has actually stopped doing that probably because of the piracy that is associated with that. Uh, so you would never put like a, a copywritten song up here and then put it on your website so for other people to take and, and download and, and then share. I mean, that's that's piracy. So they've stopped allowing that, but you, you were able to do that years ago. And I think some people have found ways around that. You do not want to get into that because the music industry is very, very careful about that and when, when you get caught doing that then you're looking at some criminal or actual um, uh, uh, monetary fines so don't play that game if, if you're a musician make your own songs record your own songs share your own songs that way but don't take other songs um, because that's that's not going to be livable and you're not going to get away with it by saying well I did it for school no that's not that doesn't get you out of the out of the hot seat so please be aware of that um, okay. Just 